How's it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me once again. Today I'm going to be looking at some Trappist Tales. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I haven't reviewed much Trappist beer at all in the last few years. Um, I really enjoy Trappist Ales, especially like Trappist Quads and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to reviewing much lately. So yeah, figured might as well do that today. I'm going to be looking at some Dutch uh, Trappist beer from uh, Le Trap out in uh, Bad Abdi, <laughs> Koningshaven. This is uh, their Trappist Quadruple. Pretty neat stuff. Um, corked in cage, big old bottle, so this is going to be a heck of a time drinking all of this. Going to probably share it with my boys. We're watching the final... Uh, Bruins game of the season, um, yeah, having a good time, having lunch upstairs, stuff like that, and uh, yeah, looks like Bruins are going to lose, but uh, uh, pretty cool thing, um, yeah, Tampa Bay Lightning's probably going to uh, tie for all-time wins record, and that's awesome, as much as, much as it is kind of shitty, it's against my Bruins, you know what, gotta love making history, you know, so um, yeah, Onto the beer, Trappist Quadruple. Um, I think I have had this beer before, but I don't think I've ever reviewed it. If I have, it was like four years ago or something like that. 10% alcohol by volume. Big old, big old beer. It's brewed with water, barley malt, glucose syrup, hops, and yeast. All right, pretty neat stuff. Let's get it uncaged, popped, poured, and see how it is. Yeah. All right, there we go. And here we go. It pours a really nice uh, amber, almost like a uh, light brown kind of color. Let's get a, rid of a couple of the water spots there. Hard water up here in the north. So um, yeah, I gotta do that once in a while. Um, pours, yeah, beautiful, uh, yeah, amber kind of color, um, bit of carbon, actually quite a lot of carbonation on the body. Uh, don't know if the camera can pick that up, but that's like a tornado in there. Pretty neat stuff. Uh, three fingers of a beautiful fluffy uh, meringue-like kind of head, but it's just got this elegance to it. All of these uh, Trappists and uh, like a European... Uh, Trappist kind of beers. Uh, they all look really, really cool. I mean, that's a beautiful looking beer. That is awesome. So let's get an aroma. Uh, yeah, classic quadruple notes coming off this one. Yeah, lots of aromas of like that kind of banana bready kind of thing, but not too much. A little bit of caramel, yeah, like a burnt caramel, a sweet caramel, like the taffy kind of thing. Mmm, wow. That awesome, like, stone fruit, like a apricot, maybe a, a plum, stuff like that going on. Like a nice uh, yellow plum, that kind of thing. Getting some dates, maybe, in the background. Yeah, it smells really good. Uh, awesome. Let's try it out. Cheers. Yeah. That's an excellent beer. 10%. It's very mild in flavor almost. Because I've been used to like... 10% beers lately just being like full of adjuncts and just like uh, chocolate, coffee, vanilla, what have you, you know, just pumped into this beer or these kinds of beers. And this is just a nice Belgian quad. That's, or not Belgian, Dutch, I guess, Trappist quad. Um, yeah, just very well balanced, easy drinking, especially for its strength. Um, this goes down pretty pretty damn easy you get a little bit of booze 
a little tiny bit, but like a good kind of booze, you know, it's not like the um, phenolic alcohol kind of shit you often get from uh, beers these days when they're that high in ABV, you know, it's got this like, just like, almost like a slight spiced rum kind of booze in the background, like a high quality rum, that kind of thing going on. Yeah, I get hints of like, I want to say coriander, I want to say like uh, maybe some clove in the background there. I'm going like maybe a hint of cinnamon in there. Um, yeah, and you get, yeah, that caramel toffee, the raisin kind of thing going on. You're getting that kind of, like I said, uh, a uh, apricot, a uh, plum, um, that kind of like nice, uh, almost citrusy kind of fruitiness from it. Yeah, um, I would say it's almost got like an orange juice kind of thing way in the background there, like a citrusy kind of orange juice, uh, like a coriander-y kind of citrusy kind of thing going on, um, like orange peel. Pretty neat, pretty neat beer. Uh, this is really, really good. Mm. Yeah, delicious. Uh, as a rating on this beer, I'd have to go like probably 93, 94, right around there. It's a classic Belgian quad, a nice historic Trappist quad. I always think like quadruples are going to be Belgian, you know. But, um, yeah, per perfect Dutch quad, <laughs> um, that kind of thing going on, uh, really, really good stuff. Definitely worth trying out. If you haven't had uh, La Trappe's beers yet, definitely check out the Quadruple, um, check out the Triple. Um, other than that, I don't think I've had anything from them. I do have the uh, Oak Age uh, Trappist Quadruple in the uh, fridge right now, so might be reviewing that a little later but um yeah there we go it's uh getting a a minus a kind of rating from me pretty neat stuff definitely worth uh checking out so go and do that uh treat yourself to some nice la trap quadruple so there we go uh let me know what y'all think of this beer uh, any of their other beers or any other neat quadruples, uh, Belgian, Trappist, what have you, kind of quadruples and like Abbey Ales that you've been enjoying lately. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, cheers.